I was at the mall the other day, this girl comes up to me, she's all pumped, excited. Let me just say this, she was a fine dime brizzle. She was all like, yeah, that's okay. Oh my God, oh, I gotta go. Hey, are, are you a, uh, are you Demolition Ranch? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, I'm freaking out right now. It's okay, girl, nothing to freak out about. Just a regular guy with a couple million subscribers on YouTube, no big deal. Is he here? Who? Who? Who here? Creepy, creepy Cooter? No, no, he's he's not here. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Mmm. Mmm. Dang it! Well, do you, you want my autograph, or do you want to take a pic or something? No. That's okay. Well, do you do you want to just go hang out or get a bite? To hey, sorry, Grandma. No, it was nobody. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm really glad you're here. Check it out, we have new shirts. Check it out before it gets too sweaty. You can see it's already starting to get a little bit sweaty. We've teamed up with Magpul to bring you these shirts. Very excited about them, have a couple of their options, and there'll be a link in the description below. This is an Air 15. It's chambered in 5.56, which is the common caliber that Air 15s are chambered in. This is an AK-47. You actually saw it in the last video. It's the C-39 V2 from Century Firearms. But I took all of the wood furniture off and put all of my Magpul furniture off my RH-10 on there because it has this little mount system and I wanted this to be my tactical looking AK-47. So AKs shoot a 762 by 39 cartridge, which is larger than the 5.56. Side by side, 5.56 and 7.62, and they actually do make AR-15s that fire this round as well. They also have a bunch of other rounds that are in between these, like the 25 45 sharps, it's a 25 caliber. So this is a 22 caliber, this is a 25, this is a 30. They also make things like a 6.8. There are a bunch of other calibers that go in between these. But what about something that's bigger than all of these out of an AR-15? Introducing this. This is a new rifle made by CMMG called the MKW-15. And what's special about it is it is not chambered in 5.56 or 7.62 by 39. It's chambered in something bigger. 556, 7.62 by 39, and 458 SOCOM. This giant missile of a round can fire out of an AR-15. 458 SOCOM was developed because there were claims that the regular 556 sometimes did not have enough knockdown power to stop enemies with one hit. So they made a big bullet. This thing is seven times bigger than a regular 556 single stacked in this magazine. I have not shot this gun yet, have not even sighted it in, I have not shot a single round through it. This is a Spitfire AR red dot from Vortex and I just stuck this thing on here and I was going to sight it in but then I was like, this is probably gonna kick like crazy. You guys might as well come along and watch me on the first shot and see how bad it kicks. You could convert any AR to shoot 458 SOCOM with not too many parts but that is a much bigger round than standard. So it's a lot harder on the guns. This one is actually made for that round. It's a lot beefier in several parts. When I picked this up at the gun store, the gun store owner was like, wear a shoulder pad. So I'm a little bit nervous. No clue where these bullets are gonna be going. Oh, I hit the target. That wasn't too bad. Woo. A lot of people like seeing the reticle. So there's that reticle. You can also make it green, but I like red. This uh, target that I'm shooting at, it's rated for 50 BMG, and a regular 5.56 does not normally push it back. It doesn't knock it down. It has springs in the back. So 50 BMG, when it hits it, will flatten it out, and then like a 308 will knock it back a little bit. 5.56 doesn't really move it at all. This thing's knocking it back. A lot more power. when I hit it at the top, it's knocking it all the way back. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh, it did not kick out the last shell. Ah. Yeah, my shoulder may be a little sore after today. Those rounds were 350 grain, just regular full metal jacket. 
just so crazy looking at these giant rounds. These are hollow points, and these are 300 grain. I was curious where the 458 SOCOM cartridge came from, what it was derived from. Started doing some research and found out that the parent case is 50 AE, like Desert Eagle. So they basically took the case from a Desert Eagle, 50 AE, and they necked it down to fit that 458 bullet, which means that same power, narrower bullet, should be going faster. Plus, Desert Eagle only has like a six inch barrel. This has a 16 inch barrel, more time to pick up more speed. So that 458 is moving pretty fast, as can be seen by this. I just repainted it, and I noticed that there are pretty good divots. I think that one's there before, but these big ones are where those 458 bullets were hitting. Smacking it very hard. I have another round that has a penetrator tip. So we'll see if that makes an even bigger divot over there. Look how crazy these are. These are manufactured by Underwood Ammo, and I think these are Lehigh Extreme Penetrator bullets in there. And just to compare, look how little that little baby is. These things are nuts. These are solid brass bullets. It's just so tiny and cute. What is that, a bullet for ants? What is this? A center for ants? Let's penetrate something, am I right? Did y'all see the fireball? I missed. I missed because I flinched. This thing does have quite a kick. Those actually didn't dent as bad as the other ones did, but you can see they left brass on there, just splattered that brass. My favorite part of playing with new calibers is seeing how powerful they are. So we're gonna start with the 556 just for a control. I'm gonna shoot the soda and the watermelon on the left. Now for the 7.62x39 out of an AK, it will have more power than a 556. Much bigger splash. And a much bigger blast. I'm about to learn you some knowledge. Here's the first one. 5.56 five, pretty much exploded that bottle. 5.56 five, go very fast. The second one is a lot different. This is 762 by 39. The bullet came in right there. Little bitty hole. Hope you can see that. And came out right here. Not a very big hole either. Really not very impressive, but it's because it's a bigger bullet moving more slowly, so it doesn't have as much explosive force. Then we have the 458 bottle. Completely shredded. Like, you can't tell where it went in and where it came out because the whole bottle just exploded. Because it's really big, going really fast. It's pretty cool. I want to try these now. They are ballistic tips, 300 grain, and they have hollow points, but it has plastic in the end, so it flies very smooth through the air. But then when it hits something, it acts like a hollow point. I'm going to try hitting that black target. I think it'll be okay for this big round. We'll find out. Almost knocked it over. Get a good shoulder workout here. Looks like it held up all right. Ooh, that's a pretty big dent. This target's doing well too. Next up, we have some pretty nasty rounds. These are ballistic tip, just like the other ones, but. They're going a little faster. These are Corbons. They're 300 grain. They are 1,900 feet per second and 2,400 foot-pounds of energy. And they actually say specifically on the box, you can only shoot these through a CMMG just because they don't want them breaking your regular AR-15. I'm going to fire a few rounds out, just get a good feel for it. And then put one through the 
three jugs and watermelon over here. Smells really good. It smells like grape soda and watermelon mixed together. Grape soda is actually Cooter's favorite. Whenever I used to bring it out here, he'd smell it from miles away and come find me. It's not gonna happen today though. Cooter's long, long gone. Thank goodness. I wanna try something I haven't done in a while. It's not very smart, but I wanna try to bump fire a 458 SOCOM. I don't want to do that anymore. That was not very fun. I ripped my thumb a little bit. Got a rather weird bullet. This is called Polycase. It is a mixture of metal and polymer. So it's pretty light. It's a 140 grain bullet, which is like less than half than what those other bullets are. I don't know if the gun's going to cycle them since it's so light, but. We'll find out. Seems to be cycling in great. Even that lighter load is still knocking that target backwards. Whew. Pretty cool. Those things are going very fast because they're very light. You may have noticed some weird camera angles. We have a drone. This is an Autel Robotics X-Star Premium. Watch the camera. Whoa, cool, right? Pretty neat. Has a little gimbal camera down here. Can film in 4K. Super cool. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it on Demolition Ranch. Um, I just thought that'd be really fun. And uh, I also have been using it on Off the Ranch, doing some stuff over there. But it's just something to help us amp up these videos a little bit, make them uh, a little more professional, because it's hard for a guy like me to get very professional. I'm doing everything I can. One more weird round. This is a solid brass bullet, 300 grain. Let's see what that does. Hope that one didn't mess up that target. We'll find out in a minute. Here's where the brass was hitting. No scratches at all. You can also see where the poly bullets were hitting. They have copper and that plastic in there. All kind of making different colors than the regular lead bullets that hit here. We made quite a mess today, which is a pretty good way to judge if it was a good day at Demolition Ranch. So, I'm happy. If you're looking for a bigger caliber AR-15, skip through your blackout and go straight to 458 SOCOM. Yeah! Damn it! God damn it! Damn it, Cooter! God! God! You're alive? And you're here? You bet your britches, buddy. That's a pretty new shirt. I got merch now, too. Cooter, you can't just make a t-shirt and expect to sell it. You gotta have a website. You gotta have a crew of people working with you. You gotta have them to do your distribution, your orders, your shipping, your packaging. It's not that simple. I talked to Mac Pool. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, I called Josh and he hooked it up. You know Josh? Mm-hmm. No, you don't know Josh. Yes, I do know Josh. No, you, do, you don't know Josh. I do too. He said I could sell my shirts on your page. No, he didn't. 
He didn't. He did. I also started my own YouTube channel a few weeks ago. I'll leave a link below. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby!